Hello here and today I'm back with another fountain pen review and today's pen for review is the Pelican M200 uh, Cafe Creme. Classic Cafe Creme. So it's a, you know, cover like uh, the Pilot, Metro, uh, Pilot Classic uh, Custom 74 and the Lamy 2000 type of price range and stuff like that. Maybe a bit cheaper, but um, it's a piston filler and it's a good piston filler. So I got mine in a special edition Cafe Creme by their demonstrators and different colors out there. This is a piston fill pen. So this is the piston knob, and um, this is a you know a pist the cap, which is a screw type cap. The length and weight. The length of this pen is about one twenty four millimeters, which is a pretty short pen. One twenty four and twenty five. So it's a pretty short pen that's capped. Let's go for uncapped. It's about 120. So 120 on capped and 124 capped. Posted. This pen is 145. Yeah, 148. Yeah, 148. Posted. So it's a pretty decent sized pen when it's posted, but it's a pretty short pen when it's not posted. And um, you know, for people with small hands like me. It's either a problem to you when you have bigger hands, or you don't like it too much. So that's all I can say about it. Um, it's pretty nice. I like. I love this design. Uh, I'm a coffee drinker, so uh, with the the milk color here and the cream colors and the the dark chocolatey colors, this appeal. I appeal. This appeals to me. I'm sorry about that. With the gold and the gold, you know, classic pelican bill. Pelican bill. Um, clip and the baby pelican looking down. The mother pelican looking down. It's child. Talk. Come on, focus. Not getting focus here. Hey, focus. There you go. So I like that. Right. So on this, on the trim ring on the cap here, it says pelican, and the Germany at the back. There's nothing else. I don't believe there is anything under word on this pen other than the bill here and the words here but um it's a screw cap push to post and um you know there's there's one thing i like about this that the piston this will not interfere with the piston here so you know when you won't get a sort of splatter of ink on your page when you're writing when and it's posted it gets a pretty sweet ink window which you can't see now but it's seamless it's a seamless ink window here, and just be below the threads, and um, there is no seam. You can feel it. You cannot feel a seam. Well, you can feel a very slight. You know, you no, no, you can't feel a seam between both of them, which is pretty cool. The grip section is pretty small, as you can see. Compared to my Pilot Metropolitan over here, the grip section is tiny, 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 small. So some people will have to have the grip on the threads too, which you know, it's not a big deal because the threads aren't really sharp to me and you know, they won't get in the way, but I grip it like that, so it's not a big problem for me. But if you like to hold it somewhere up, the, the threads are silky smooth and they're not, and they're pretty blunt, they're not sharp. The nibs are interchangeable with the M200, the M200 nibs and the M400 nibs, but they are interchangeable. I got mine in a fine. This is a gold plated steel nib, so I'm going to do a writing sample pretty soon. Uh, I like this pen because you know the design is pretty nice. It's I like the the coffee colors and the, the colors options here, and um, also it, I like its length. You know, and its weight. It's a bit light. It's a really light pen, and um, I like how it with the piston filler feels. It's nice. It's a a good piston filler. So I'm gonna do a writing sample, and um, let me get my book here, my nondescript. Paper. Actually, I will leave the paper in the description. I can just tell you right now. So this is the. I'm gonna get my hand here. This is the. Focus. Stop focusing. Let me get the focus. There you go. The Pelican. M200. Classic. Cafe. Creme. Ink is Pilot, Iro, Shizuku, 
call Pecky. Nib is a fine gold plated. I'm putting GP steel nib. And I'm gonna do the quick point fox shot with a lazy dog. And the line variation, there is some line variation to this, which is awesome for Steve Nib. And you can see, as you can see, there's some line variation. Reverse writing, I did forget to do this in the Pale Metropolitan video, but this writes reverse pretty, you know, you know, it's smooth. It's pretty smooth, but it still has a bit more feedback, and it's extra fine, so you can see. Reverse writing and it's pretty nice so wetness tests see how wet it is and it lays down a decent amount of ink really wet pen the paper i'm using is uh life no noble series note root paper this is japanese fountain friendly paper buttery smooth paper i use this for all my reviews Except the very beginning, the first pile of Custom 74 review, which is done on the Gamble uh, notebook. I don't have it right now. So I'm actually going to write the paper down above here. This is a Life Noble Series Notebook. Done. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. If you like it, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more subscribe you know if you want to do any more reviews if i can afford it the fountain pens leave in the comment section down below so thanks for watching i hope you enjoy and see ya